Welcome back, Syndrome here with Breaking the Stream Gaming. Today we'll be continuing with our playthrough of Birthright, the Gorgon's Alliance. Following up from last episode, we had just wiped out the Najan state of Bewerween, taking all of their territory, and now we are deciding who to attack next. We're either going to be going after Alami here, or the nation of Tuornin. Now Tuornin's a kind of vertically integrated place with a lot of castles, so getting in there deeply could be challenging. I suppose if we increase our alliance with Rogue, we could hit more of them at once. Hmm. I'll have to think about that in just a minute, but first let's go ahead and, as always, start with our taxation. Nothing really to update here. We're getting about a hundred a turn, so we're not spending nearly that much. It's your turn. Ah, now that that might change things. It looks like the Gorgon's Crown is invading Alami, so that might be a less attractive option if we're going to be competing with another nation for territory. Let's see. I I wonder. Since I have an alliance with Rogue, can I just move my units into his territory? And the answer is yes, I can. Okay, wonderful. So that that settles that question. I am going to be able to get into uh, almost every territory of his right off the bat. So that will be very useful. Now let's see here. We have... Lots of units that are in the back that were guarding our borders at some point uh, before we expanded so far forward. So let's let's do a little bit of consolidation here. Yep, it's my league. It's I'm just going to done. gather basically everything into, eh, let's say, four stacks. Your bidding. Your Highness. I'll leave a couple. I'll leave this stack of four skeletons behind to guard our flanks, but. Uh, I'm going to move everything else just into Rogue's territory. Let's see. My strongest unit... Honestly, the eyeless, the eyeless one is now our most powerful unit, so why don't we go ahead and send him as deep in as we can. Our regent is the next most powerful, so we'll put him there. And then the regent's sister. Hmm. You know, let's let's make this priest here leader of the fourth army. So from here, we'll be able to directly invade this territory, this territory, this territory, and this territory. Only leaving these two left for our second action of the turn. So that I think should be totally fine. So let's go ahead and uh, beef up some of these armies, though. Your Highness, yes, it's your bidding. Of course, Your Highness, my lady. Your bidding. It shall be done, your highness. Consider it my done. Leave. Okay, this is now, you know, a nearly maximum stack, so I can stop putting units into there. Your highness. Regents is also extremely powerful. This one I, I'm less concerned about, just because there's not a whole lot of resistance that we can be facing up north here. So why don't we pour? most of these troops of course, into the priest's stack. And we'll we'll give her a couple more just just course, for just for kicks. Okay, let's split off some of these skeletons to Defend our borders. Oops, not what I meant to do. Luckily, units can move as far as you want in any given turn, provided you have enough money to pay for the transportation. So, stuff like that doesn't actually cost us in the end. Um, actually, those are the only places that we're really concerned about for now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and send this unit up to the front. Okay, that leaves us with an Elven Archer to... Eh, forget. I'll actually make use of him. 
We'll also be summoning four additional skeletons this turn, but um, no real urgency to that just yet. Okay, so with that, let me go ahead and start things off by declaring them uh, to win. They only had one full ally, and I don't even know where they're at. Ilian is somewhere. There it is. It's a single province deep in the south, so not terribly concerned about that. Okay, let's go ahead and move our troops in. Now, yes, some of these areas are going to be left unguarded, so they will be able to retreat into Robe's territory, but, um, I mean, frankly, that's not our problem, so Robe can deal with that issue. My liege, consider it done. Okay, so that only leaves those two territories left. Now, what I'm also considering here is, should I go ahead and just declare war on Alamy also? I mean... If I do that, I can move some troops into at least these three border territories. Maybe even all four of them. Not a terrible idea. Do I have anything? So I, I'm still working on that quest, so I guess I won't actually be getting those skeletons this turn. But I don't really have any other good actions to take that I can think of. So yeah, why, why don't I go ahead and, you know, do that too. Why not? Um, might invite a couple more declarations of war, but uh, we'll deal with that if it happens. Nope. Hmm. Robe is looking to increase our alliance up to a full alliance. He wants a source holding in exchange. He'll give us a temple. Almost always, if you click improve, they'll give you a better deal. So, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to accept additional gold per turn for a source node that I'm not using. So, yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. Obviously don't need to deal with that. Or that. This one I'm going to deal with just to ensure that it's yes, a clean kill. By your command. And by that, I mean I want to see the troop actually die, not uh, rout. That skeleton's not doing well. Okay, so that one routed, but uh, that's fine, I suppose. Okay, not not the end of the world. It's your turn. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and split this stack. That's a little bit sloppy. Just organize it a little bit. Okay, four cavalry, four skeletons, and our leader. Well, our leader's sister. Why don't I go ahead and send out Two skeletons. Yes, Regent. And two cavalry. And you know what? Why don't I go ahead and muster some troops? So I'll go back to so many territories now. I think this is the one where I can get six. So I'll just recruit six more elven cavalry. And then I'll move them. Actually, you know, we're going to send two of those over to reinforce here, just in case. Oh, that was a dumb move. I could have moved those in here. Let me muster a few additional ones. Let's see. I've got four more troops there.
Okay, that being done, I'll go ahead and... Hmm, that is... That's a powerful... Oh, that's two max stacks of the Gorgon. I mean, we could win that fight, but it's going to take a lot of our resources. Oh, wow. I, there's a third stack that's almost entirely skeletons. Hmm. Actually, I don't even know how many are in there. I can't, I can't tell exactly. Okay, well maybe maybe we hold off on attacking the Gorgon in that territory for now. Um, what we will do though is let's just go ahead and take three skeletons and send them in here. Um, he has enough that I'm gonna take. Let me let me sort these. Okay, I'm going to take four of his skeletons and send them down to the region to reinforce. Now the eyeless one, let's go ahead and send three skeletons down south here. And here we have just a couple of troops. I think that I want him leading the stack that attacks there, so I'm going to move him down a little bit. Yeah, I, I think that him plus, let's say, three cavalry should be plenty to attack that. My liege, your highness. And why don't I go ahead and send him two skeletons as reinforcements. Your highness. Hmm. Okay, so we'll be invading three of Alamut's territories. That's that's not bad for them. The Gorgon was here first, so they are... I mean, with this many units, um, I could take it, but it's going to result in significant casualties. So I'm more than willing to let that stand for the time being. Okay, so now let's take our lieutenant action to send them out on an adventure and try... Try another location for this uh, for this quest. I I'm really regretting that we lost the archmage. Um, I'm I've never considered locate object to be his you know really powerful ability, but um, it it really helped a lot. So. Ahead and start this off as always with troop C. Okay, so where have we checked on here? We've checked the dining room table. <laughs> um, I believe that we've checked this room down here. So a few places are standing out to me. We have what seem to be a lot of treasure scattered throughout that area up north, including a maybe sealed room. This area here, that's a possibility. And actually, all four of these are seemingly filled with treasure, which kind of makes me think that it's not there. But, um... You know, let me teleport here and see see what's special about that area. Ooh, that's dark. Hmm. Looks like we're fighting a... Oh, well, that was not a great use of uh, Fireball. Uh, let's get some light You're up in here. Me? And let's see, there's some gold. Ah, perfect. This was the spot. I guess that uh, Shade was the guardian of the regalia. see. 25% bonus to his chance of success in investiture. Hmm. That 
isn't really all that useful. Um, I mean, we have so much regency that uh, we can just boost that, that to the max anyway. But, um, I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I might as well just head down here and see what... Eh, oh well. Nothing to do but to exit out. And we got two gold bars out of it, so... Not that I need them. Okay, so, what have we done? We've invaded all of Tornin. We've started our invasion of Alamein. We don't have another just like massive army somewhere that we could attack the Gorgon with, do we? Actually, we're not at war with the Gorgon. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Because we're not at war with him, we might be able to walk right past him into... Oh, actually, this unit isn't even engaged. Okay, I, I can I can do this better, I think. Let's go ahead and send two more skeletons in there. And then we'll take three of those skeletons, send them down south. And then You know, let's let's see if we can just take Oh wait a minute, that's that's a... No, no it's not. That is the Gorgon's problem. Let's see if we can just walk past the Gorgon. Nope. <laughs> I might as well have them join together. Uh, let's take three skeletons. And let's just move them in here. And then we'll see if we can move them out. Nope. So I wonder who will be fighting. Whoever it is will likely be retreating, so... Not much we can do about that. Okay, I, I think that that is about all we need to do this turn. Uh, we should be eyeing what to do with our last action, though. And I'm wondering if it's worth creating a holding in Sorrelis here, and then using the Raise spell. But maybe we should just be looking further to the south. Uh, it's only a level 4 castle. Level 5... Spider's Lair, that's a level 7. Hmm. Options, options, options. Nobody to really uh, ally with. I suppose we can talk to Robe and see if he'll... <laughs> see if he's willing to give us some of his territory. Okay, well, we have the action anyway, so let's just go ahead and work on collapsing this castle here. So we will create a holding in Alamein, in Sorlings, a source holding, and we'll increase that as high as we can. Succeeded. All right, us versus the Gorgon's crown. I mean... We might as well fight it out. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll retreat on that one. This, we should be fine, but the regent, I believe, is a wizard, so we'll manually control yes, that. By your command. New adventure this turn. Barazad's tools. I believe those are for building ca yep, for building castles. Hmm. That could be useful. 
Okay, let's take a look at our province situation. Uh, looks like no territories were ready to fall, which we expected because I think every single one. I actually kind of expected this one here to be willing to join us. I wonder why that's not the case. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. This one will be ready next turn, as will this one. Other than that, uh, we've got... We're reducing castles there. And we're holding our northern territories just fine. Gorgon has still a crazy number of units there, so nothing we can do. Okay, we'll just go ahead and collect taxes. Hmm. Well, since there is nothing to do in terms of investitures... Jeez, well, first we're going to deal with the forces that just moved into our territories. So let's go ahead and send that skeleton over to that one. That archer can deal with regular, yes. And then we have a skeleton way up there. So we'll just muster, let's say, two archers, I think. Should be, or rather, cavalry should be sufficient. Okay, all of those are dealt with now. For our lieutenant action, let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. We're going to send them on an adventure. Should actually you know memorize spells since there's absolutely no reason not to in case we do end up having to do a little bit of fighting get an extra disintegrate that's nice okay let's go on the adventure We'll cast Trucing, the cleric. Hmm. I don't recall where this is. Actually, I sort of do. Hmm. I feel like this chamber. Seems a little bit suspicious to me. So let's see, if we start here, if we go in, I feel like these internal areas are kind of unlikely to be the location. This seems like a throne room, maybe. Ah, these are mirrored looking towers, possibly, so probably not there. But then again, so are these here. You know, it might actually be so simple as something like an internal chamber along the lines of one of those. Okay, well, no, no reason to really spin my wheels on this. Why don't I just go ahead and I'm going to pick this one and see if that takes me where I need to go. Your Majesty? Man, I, I mislocate object. Okay, well, that definitely was not it. Stand right there and identify your or die. Um, I, I, we're apparently fighting through a wall. Let's retreat. See what that does. Okay, well, now we can at least see him, so a little bit of disintegration. Hey, hold on, 
Oh, apparently it's just a secret wall. I'm a little bit hesitant to use a fireball, but that seemed to work. Now that I can see it more clearly, um, yeah, there is just a door there. Okay, well, no reason to stick around here. I'm just going to go ahead and exit the adventure. And we'll return next turn to uh, take care of that. Okay, so with my remaining turns, I might as well create a ley line here and then blow up that castle so that we can annex that territory next turn. Um, none of the other castles are really big enough to worry about. The biggest one is going to take two additional turns. And... Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So first we'll forge a ley line. Uh, we'll do it from our main area to sort of Auto succeeds. Succeeded. Okay. Oh, the Gorgon's Crown is attacking us. Obviously, we can't win that fight, so we will retreat. Hmm. It's your turn. Now, can we move troops back in there, though? I wonder. Shoot. Well, is it time for us to go on a rampage and attack the Gorgon and his 50 something units that he has next? That, that, uh. Seems a little bit premature still, so I think that I'm going to have to hold off for the time being and just uh, play the cards that I was dealt. So let's go ahead and raise that castle. Robe is requesting that we become his vassals. I'm going to tell him to go away. We're technically allies with Avnil, so their presence in my territory doesn't really bother me at the moment. You know, I'm just going to leave those guys up there. They can deal with any threats that pop up back there over time. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what to do with my next action now, though. Gawir has a lot of high-level castles, it looks like, so it's going to take a very long time for us to capture those. But since it's so uniform, it would take too many actions to create source nodes in each of those places. So I think that we will just have to sit in there for a rather long time. You know, I don't see any reason not to start spending my treasury. So why don't I go ahead and just start recruiting like crazy in my 
Elven territories. So let's see here. Where can we get Elven archers? Or, no, not archers. Uh, cavalry. So we need four there, six here. Eh, we already did two, two of them last turn. There. And I think those are the only ones that are high enough level. But why don't we actually do something about that after we bring these troops into the fray? Okay, we're going to, going to rule our provinces. So let's see, what I'm looking for is my Elvish provinces, which are rank 3. So I'm going to increase this to rank 4 so that I'll be able to recruit Elven cavalry out of there. Succeeded. Okay, now we have three territories which have begun to yield, so we'll be able to start annexing those. And it is three territories, so we might as well spend an entire turn doing that. It's your turn. Okay, let's go ahead and muster troops again. So 18 additional Elven Cavalry, each turn are coming out, so that uh, that will significantly bolster our forces. Actually, that's, that's more than a full stack, so... Where are we going to claim territory? We'll start in the north, the one that's most connected to our territory. Succeeded. Succeeded. It's your turn. Let's go ahead and take our lieutenant action try for this adventure once again. Only thing that we're concerned about is making sure that we have True Sight memorized, which I believe we do. There we go. Your Highness. Yes, we do. Okay. We've tried an internal area like this. I don't suspect that that's anything important. So really, that leaves us with up here or over here. So let's try this one. Stand right there and identify your that looks like a bedroom. Um, magic missile. I mean, this this could be some sort of a royal chamber or something. No, no such luck.
Now that takes a key to open, so that's that's somewhat promising. Maybe. Now it looks like there's supposed to be like a secret door right here. Aha! I see a couple of guards in there. But that shouldn't be anything but fireball you can't handle. Hey, hold on. You're not supposed to fight or die. Well, it's not the treasure, but uh, it is money. At least we'll be able to rule out another location. Hmm. I think next time I'll try this one down here, maybe. Okay, now to continue with the investiture. Succeeded. Diamed, what are you offering? They'll give us gold in order in exchange for gold per turn. They can go away. It's your turn. What is Rogue doing? Where's Navrin? Ah, oh, down here. Okay, well, well, I'll claim it. No reason not to. Succeeded. That's obviously not the right, so treat. Huh, that's very disappointing. Nolian. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, looks like there are four additional territories that we could claim so we'll spend the entire term doing that. It's your turn. Hmm. Warding it could prevent us from moving that army out. And why is the Gorgon coming for us? Huh. Well, unfortunately, that means that all of those skeletons are going to be a loss. Because I don't believe that there's anywhere that they can retreat to. Unless I declare war on all of me again. You know what? Why don't I do that? I'd rather avoid losing those troops. And this way we can get into some of the provinces that we've had to vacate. Okay, now the Gorgon's Crown has made a tactical blunder. They have split their troops up and followed us your in. Not your oh, those bastards. Not your they have a skeleton here blocking us, so I take back what I just said. On the flip side, you cannot cross that, border. Oh, that is the Gorgon's territory. Hmm. Okay, well... We will have to make do with that. On the flip side, we should be able to attack down there now. Where can we investiture? We 
we can take this territory, that territory, this territory, and perfect, this territory. Okay, here's what I think I'll do. I will go ahead and send in the entire Eyeless One force, Eyeless One's forces, as well as all of Philorane's forces. I'll join those two forces together. Hmm. That's that's a lot of units, though. Okay, I'll go ahead and send cavalry down to hold those territories. We'll need a little bit more, though. So why don't I just double those up? And hold this one. All we really need is two units. Oh, we have an entire other stack here. That's that is excellent. You cannot cross the border. Okay, let's let's get that. Ugh. Okay, that was the opposite of what I wanted. So we'll have to send it the back way. Now we have a max, eh, a nearly max stack, maybe a full max stack, I'm not sure. But in any case, I think that that should be able to deal with anything that they're faced with here. Bunch of, I mean, this army doesn't scare me. This one does to an extent. Okay, that's dealt with. Spiderfell has a strong army there. Which we want to deal with. Let's go ahead and send in two skeletons. Your Highness. Your Highness. We'll send in that entire As force. Your bidding. It shall be done. Your Highness. Consider it done. Your bidding. Consider it done. What else can we get? Your Highness. My liege. Your Highness. So many troops are locked up because of that uh, because of the units in these territories so I guess we're just gonna have to muster another you know 18 elven cavalry whatever will we do I'm fully expecting that we're gonna take some fairly heavy casualties in these fights, so the upkeep costs should go down. All right, let's gather those together. A full stack plus three. Okay, here's what I think we'll do. We're going to take all but mm, five of our cavalry, and we're just going to put it in to this area. That gives us two near-max stacks there. These other cavalries we're going to send into Treywood to reinforce our troops there. That gives us another very powerful stack. This one, I mean, we're going to have to retreat those troops, but uh, we'll be able to hit it next action, I believe possibly from multiple directions. Okay, now the only question is where do we want to do our investiture? And I think that the answer is probably going to be 
this territory here just so that we don't have to retake it later and it gives us a bridge between those sections so let's go ahead and claim it i'm sure the gorgon will contest that but we're sitting on 900 regency so i'm fairly confident in our ability to land okay no, i'm just going to auto calculate this one Eight units lost, but um, we were victorious. We retreat to there. Retreat there. That one can auto calculate. Huh. This one. This one I need to r r run yes. that myself. I'll get on that right away. Right. Yes. Archer, the wizard awaits your order. My lead, the wizard awaits your order. Archer, ready. Your command, the wizard awaits your order. Your command, Archer, ready. Your command, Archer, at the ready. Your command, my lead. Your command, Archer, ready. Your order, service guard. Your command. The wizard awaits your order. Your command. The wizard Archer awaits your ready. command. The wizard awaits your, your order. Your order. Right. My lead. The wizard awaits your, your order. Command. Right. Yes. Done. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Draws near your Archer's ready. Yes. 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 Archer's ready. Your order? Archer is up order. ready! Yes, I'll do it soon. Okay, I think that we have this fight wrapped up pretty well. No losses on our end. And another level. Okay, this one, let's go ahead and auto-calculate that. Not, uh, not too terrible. Did they just do it again? They did. They are blocking so many of my units with one unit there. That is incredibly annoying. And it prevents us from getting down to South Mobile. Well, I'm not pleased with that. I'm satisfied with the rest of what happened there. Uh, I will be taking some of these cavalry out, though. And then... S Did I just... Hmm. That was not a good move, but... Oh well. Let's see if I can just send these there. And then move them back in. They should be able to join the stack. Okay, let's go ahead and claim Hezrian. Give us a little bit of contiguous territory. Succeeded. Rozo is going to have to do better than that. They want a level 2 temple. They'll give us that. Five gold a turn, but actually, our resources, I mean, they're not running low, but um, I think that I'm actually okay with that deal, so I'll take that. Okay, plenty of territories for us to claim this turn, so we're definitely going to spend the entire turn doing investitures. Southmore, we're just going to have to deal with that later, I suppose. Now, 
Alaroin, um, the Gorgon has a claim there, but we have plenty of regency to deny him, so I'm, I'm fine with that. And actually, this reminds me, I never actually moved those relics onto the regent, so he's not getting the benefit of them. <laughs> uh, me and the Gorgon are going to have it out over this one territory. I wonder how much regency he actually has. I mean, this is the first time I've ever spent this much regency on a single action. Success modified by opponent. I mean, Success modified I'm not using it, so I'm just going to keep doing this till he gives up. Although, given that he rakes in 100 a turn, he might have thousands. Did not succeed. Okay, he, he did eventually give up after 152 regions he spent. It's your turn. Okay, let's see. Can we annex that one before... Yes, we can. So I'm going to claim this territory before they have a chance to boot me out so that I can move my troops back into it. Although, can I just... I can't just move my troops in, so... That's good. Okay, where else do we want to do things? Okay, first... Let's try this again. Actually, Okay, Trucy. Plus yet another teleport. Where to try this time? I think I said I was going to try this one, so... <laughs> a candle. We found a candle. And a ring, I suppose. Okay, obviously this was not the right way to go. Uh, kind of running out of places here. Okay, well, nothing else to do there. So now I am going to claim Hildon. Succeeded. Uh, and then retreat, obviously. Okay, this is a big fight, but um, I'm confident that we can win that. Huh, again? <laughs> All right, here's to spending another 150 regency. Success modified by opponent. Hopefully. Success modified by opponent. Wish there was a faster way to do this. Success modified by opponent. Success modified by opponent. Success modified by opponent. Mechanically, I kind of wonder what this Success looks like. By opponent. Are we both just standing in the territory shouting that it's ours? Okay, this is where he gave up last time. Let's uh, see if that's... Not okay, good. It's your turn. Okay, before I forget again, I need to 
steal some magic items. Okay, the Crystal of Scry. Now let's go ahead and give that to our regent. Regalia of the Empire. We'll give that to him also. And then I'm just going to check the others and make sure that I don't have any other artifacts that I picked up. Where is the Eyeless One? Actually, I think the Eyeless One is also in this stack. There he is. Yeah, he's up to level 11 now. Oh, the Ion Heart. Wow, this went to all stats and levels. Does that make him level 12? You know, I'm, I'm actually going to keep that in him, because if that functionally makes him level 12, uh, that's kind of more useful to me. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what to do now. We have defeated the Gorgon in Hildon. They're in our territory, so I think we're going to muster a counterattack here. Go ahead and just send a single unit to hold Hildon. I'm expecting that we're going to have to uh, do the same thing with the Regency next turn, which is going to be annoying. Um, what am I doing? I, I don't. I don't need to move an entire stack in there. I don't think. We'll just send one unit. Now with that, where does it make sense to claim territory? Why don't we boot them out of these southern areas here? Succeeded. Uh, once again, I will have spent over 400 Regency to retain this one province. That is absurd. Okay. It's your turn. Finally, we're done. Holy crap! Your bidding, your highness. Not your turn. Okay, well, your I guess, bidding, I guess he only highness. sent in two or three, five stacks. I don't even. I have no idea how many stacks are in there. But it's a lot. Um. Your highness. Jeez. Your bidding, your bidding, my liege. My liege. Impassable. Impassable. Why? Your Highness, it shall be done. Oh, they're still warded. Okay, this definitely calls for a full muster. Now, our treasury is starting to run low, so that is giving me a little bit of pause. At a certain point, I'm just going to have to give up on that adventure and start summoning skeletons again. And I think I might actually already be at that point. Okay, let's see. This unit can move up since the front has changed areas. My liege. I mean, we're just going to claim this area this turn. Eh, maybe we'll claim Bond's Edge. We'll see. Not your My liege. And nowhere else is really under any sort of threat, so... 
Oh. I don't need this many troops there, so let's go ahead and move them out. Ah, shoot. Okay, that was not ideal. Well, I don't need those, so let's go ahead and move those in. Not your troops. Yes, Regent. Your Highness. Okay, I think everything is in order there, so we'll go ahead and do one last investiture to. Let's go ahead and do it in Desiree. Just to link up those two areas. Ah, I guess that's counting the 25% bonus now. Succeeded. They're going to have to do better than that. A level 2 temple in exchange for 5 gold a turn. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. This one I will do manually. Those elite infantry are pretty good, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, they're not as good as the skeletons are, though, so we should be fine. Until they walk right past us. Okay, well, they routed, so that that's something. Seems to be going fine so far. Bam. They just do not want to fight. Which is funny because they attacked me. Not a son of a bitch. They kicked me out of Trey Ward there, so that is very disappointing. I should have defended that place better. Shoot. <sighs> okay, what? Okay, I think that this will be a good place to stop this video. Um, but I will pick it up again next time when I deal with the developing situation in what used to be Alame, now it's territory split between myself and the Gorgon's Crown. Thanks for viewing. Take care.